So what we're going to do here is create a resume website that looks like this. Luckily, all you have to do is download this exactly and change all the information to your information as well as the picture. Let's get to it. First, you have to go to github.com and create a GitHub account. So it'll be like this and you just create a GitHub, GitHub account and be mindful when you pick the username because that's basically going to be your URL. So you see how mine over here is this.github.io, your username is going to be this portion right here unless you buy a domain name, but then it want to be free. So once you create your GitHub account, you'll have something like this. So before you do that, just type in GitHub desktop and click on this and download the GitHub desktop if, if you're on Windows or Mac. It makes things a lot easier. After you've done that, you can go ahead and open GitHub. Yours will prob probably be white, but I changed mine to dark. If you want to know how to do that, you click on the gear, options, dark. But over here, you're going to hit the plus, you're going to hit create, and just like mine was the first test account, that's, this is what you're going to do. Oops. This is what you're going to do. Just like that. It'll be in your GitHub account and everything. So your username dot GitHub dot IO. You want to create that repository. Good. Now you've created it. What you can do is type in this URL because it should be right in here. Once you're viewing this or like I'm going to do, I'm going to come to mine, my main account, which doesn't have much on it, but it has this and download this zip file once you do that it'll open up here and you want to double click copy everything that's in here I'll do it on the screen copy I do it on my keyboard that's why I say that copy and then come over to documents github inside this that you just created and over that you can delete those and you want to paste all right now everything should be in here if you don't see these two index and read me click on something else and then come back in and it should be there so what we're going to do from here is open up the readme with notepad plus plus or whatever your text editor is change this from from that to what you've been typing in this whole time you want to save that then open this in your text editor again or as well you want to come down to any of these and notice title you want to change title to your name or whatever you prefer you want to change this and as you can see all this in black you want to change that to whatever you want if you are a software developer change this to software developer because that's your title here's your name and you can see all of this information can be changed as well also come down here so when they want to click on your github it goes to your github if you don't know what yours is you go back to the github.com you should be logged in still and then go to your profile and you'll see it right here so whenever they click on this down here they'll go to yours and whenever they click on this down here they'll go to your LinkedIn which I'll show you right here you'll change it from mine to yours in order to change the picture from mine to yours you want to upload it to here what you want to do is right click open image and new tab and copy this your picture should be there copy this and paste it right in here You also want to change all of this. This is your resume. You can see by reading Old Dominion University and all of this, you can make whatever you want. You can come over here and compare. As you can see, this is what it's all going to look like. But what I really want to tell you about is this down here. Notice you put your, you type your skill in here 
So you'll see right here, C++. C++. And then 90%, 90%. And you want to change this to whatever number this is. Notice 75, 75, 70, 70, 60, 60, and so on. And then you want to save this. That should be saved as well. So, so once you come back to your GitHub desktop, you go to changes, you'll notice there's a lot of changes. What you want to do is come down here, say what you just did. So say you create resume website, and then just, you can put whatever description, whatever description, commit to master. And once you've done that, you want to publish. Now that you've published, you will come back to your account. You can refresh and there you go. So what you can do now is type in your URL, copy, I'm copying this, control C is copy, paste, control V is paste, and enter, and there is your information. So let me exit out of everything just so you can get a view of how to change everything. So if you ever want to change anything, just come to GitHub, wherever it is, or you can go ahead and type in GitHub over here. It will open. This should be here. It'll make it easier if so. And then you can come to changes and open this repository, or you can go to your file explorer and open it. Come back to index. And then you wanna edit with notepad plus plus. Let's say I wanna change any of this information to forest test account, just so you can see a change. And let's say I am testing this and what you want to do is save go back to github desktop you'll notice that changes you want to click on changes not history you notice that there's something changed and type in whatever you change so actually let's say name change I forest night name change to Forest test account, commit to master, and you want to sync it since it's already been published. Once you've synced the information, you want to come open your browser, type in your URL, and it may not be ready immediately, but after a second or two, it will get back to normal. You can see now that it says Forest test account force test count up there and you can see that it's still my picture and everything like that so I hope this helped you out if you want me to go more in detail about any other aspect of this please comment below and I'll be sure to take that into consideration also if it did help you out please like and subscribe to help me out